What is up guys, just a quick video for me today because I got asked a question by a guy called Fumes the Threat. He asked about the plugin Quick Sampler and if you could reverse one section of the sample to, you know, make it sound better. And I thought, you know, you can do this in the FL Studio version, so you can probably do it in Logic, right? I had a go, I looked at all the buttons, I watched a couple of tutorials, and there was nowhere that said you could do it. And so I thought, that's a bit useless. Yeah, I've kind of found this new substitute way that you can do it, which just takes a slight bit longer. I'll show you right now. So I just tagged in the sample I found here and quickly chopped it up into kind of each section. And what he asked was, here, when you've got it, you can see how it says playback, you can press forward and then change it to reverse. And what that'll do is it'll just play it. Just play it backwards, but he asked with one of these sections, can you reverse it? I haven't found a way to do it yet, but I'll keep you updated if I have found a way to do it. I've literally searched through every button. I can't find a way to do it in this mode. I tried flexing it and like dragging it before the start to try and stretch it backwards. That didn't work. So anyway, I think this will work. So let me just try it out. I'm just going to record the sample in. This is a MIDI region and you can't really reverse MIDI. So what I'm just gonna do here is bounce it into audio. Now this does mean that you can't then go and change the file again. It's just putting in an extra step really. So here it's the exact same thing. And then we go say we wanted to reverse this last one. This last one here you'd go, you'd cut it and then you'd come down here and just click reverse there and there's. Like that, maybe we can reverse this one here, cut that, click on it, reverse it. That's just kind of almost chopping it up to get the pattern you want and then chopping it up again and reversing bits of it. I think maybe Logic might see that people like using this reversing and they might put it in the next update, but I don't know. put a low pass on it. So yeah, that's my kind of substitute way of doing it. Of course, I'll let you know if I find out any more simpler way to do it. But again, this is, I think, one of the second times I've responded to a question in the comments. So if you really do have any questions, then be sure to leave them down or DM me on my Instagram or something like that. Anyway, see you in the next video. That's going to be on Saturday. It's going to be another episode of Plug and Review, so stay tuned for that.